What's up guys, Luke here at Will County Power Sports and today I'll be measuring pinion shaft runout for a Sportster. I'll be going over the required tools and how to do it. Now this job can be done with the engine inside the frame but the transmissions tore up in this one so I had to pull it out and I decided I'd make a video on it. So first things first, um, you're gonna wanna take your cam cover off, you're gonna wanna pull your cams out and then once you get it to this point, you're going to wanna get a dial indicator that you can um, either order online or get from Harbor Freight. You wanna make sure it's a magnetized one because otherwise it's gonna be moving around a lot when you're trying to measure this and you'll get an inaccurate reading. Um, if you do decide to pull the engine out, you're gonna wanna make sure that you secure the engine to whatever you're measuring off of. I kind of just have a bolt here and then a connecting rod here just to stabilize the engine so it doesn't get an inaccurate reading. Um, another thing you're going to want to check for is just little burrs on the pinion shaft. Um, what I like to do is get a piece of 400 grit sandpaper and uh, I'll polish that shaft before I set up my dial indicator on it just to make sure that I'm not getting any inaccurate readings from a little burr. From there, I'll get my dial indicator out and um, you'll want to make sure you're at about the halfway point of the shaft so you're getting an accurate reading. And um, once you get that set up, you kind of want to just press it. I usually go about a 30, sec 30 thou uh, pressure on the needle itself just so it's not completely bottomed out that way. And um, once you have that set up, you're gonna to wanna to turn your magnet on. So this is how your setup is gonna look. You have your engine secured, you got your front secured, you got your dial indicator on your pinion shaft, and you have your magnet on. From there, you're gonna to wanna to rotate your crankshaft um, using two hands, and then you're gonna to wanna to set your dial at zero. And then each one of those lines is a thou. So you wanna check in your service manual to see what the required limit is, your minimum and your maximum, and what the service limit is if it's too far out. Um, and how you do that is, is I don't have a stand here to hold my phone, so you're gonna hear the connecting rod rubbing on the case a little, but it's still gonna give it an accurate reading. Just you're gonna hear a little sound. So as you're rotating the connecting rods, this pinion shaft is spinning and you're getting your pinion shaft run out. So mine's just at about three thousandths. So I'm gonna be pulling out this crank anyways and um, truing it up. We may weld it, we're gonna see. But uh, yeah, that's how you measure pinion shaft run out for a Sportster. If you got any comments, uh, please leave them. I try my best to answer any questions or you can send me an email, give me a call or give me a text. Um, have a good day guys, thanks.